Another problem in batch costing. Arnav Confectioners, AC in short, owns a bakery which is used to make bakery items like pastries, cakes and muffins. AC used to bake at least 500 units of uh, any item at a time. A customer has given an order for 600 muffins. To process a batch of 50 muffins, the following cost would be incurred. Direct materials rupees 500, direct wages rupees 50, oven setup cost is 150. AC absorbs production overheads at the rate of 20% of direct wage cost. 10% is added to the, to the total production cost of each batch to allow for selling distribution and administration overheads. AC requires a profit margin of 25% on sales value. You have to determine the selling price for 600 muffins. So in one batch, they process how many muffins? 50 muffins. And uh, how many muffins is the order size? 600 muffins. So how many batches of production is required? 600 this 600 divided by 50, 12 batches are required. And our task is finding the selling price for all this 600 muffins. Let's get started. So we'll prepare the statement, statement of cost per batch and per order. Okay. So how many batches? It's simple. Total units required, which is 600 divided by 50 units per batch. So it is 12 batches. So let's have this table particulars cost per batch and total cost direct material cost given in the question how much 500 pages 50 oven setup 150 so we'll capture them here direct material cost is 500 wages 50 oven setup cost 150 but these are all for how many batches one batch okay cost per batch and if you want to know the total cost what you should do multiply the respective cost with 12 500 into 12 6000 50 into 12 600 150 into 12 1800 now you should also add production overheads and question says ac absorbs production overheads at the rate of 20 percent of direct wages so add production overheads which is 20 percent of direct wages direct wages is 50 50 into 20 percent is 10 here 10 into 12 is 120 now will total this production cost which is nothing but the total of direct material direct wages oven setup cost and production overheads so 550 150 100 totaling 710 and multiply this with 12 you get 8520 then question also says 10 percentage is added to the total production cost of each batch to allow for selling distribution and administration overheads so we'll do that add Selling and distribution and administration overheads, which is 10% of 710, so 71. 8,520 into 10%, 852. So that makes total cost. 710 plus 71, it is 781. 8,520 plus 8,52, it is 9,372. Now with this, you have to add profit margin. Only then you can arrive at the selling price. Question says, they require a profit margin of 25% on sales value. If it is 25% on sales value, how much on cost? Now just visualize this. If selling price is 100 and 25% on selling price is 25, then cost is obviously 75. So 25 expressed as a percentage of 75. That is 25 divided by 75 is nothing but one third, 33.33 percentage. So that's what we are going to do here add profit which is one third of total cost that is 33.333 percentage so 781 into 1 by 3 is 260.33 into 12 will give you 3124 so if you add the total cost with profit you get selling price which is 1041.33 per batch and totaling to 12496